Hello everyone, I'm Bikas from Small Academy and welcome to the first video of our Live TV streaming app development series. I'm going to show you guys how to set up the PHP dashboard that I have created for you. So I have uploaded the source code in the GitHub and you can download from there. Let me go to the browser and open my GitHub repository. So I'm going to go to my GitHub profile and from the repository, I'm just going to open my repository for the live streaming PHP backend. And from here, you can download the source code as a zip. So I'm going to download it as a zip file and you can extract it. So before extracting, we are going to need the local host server. Okay. So if you don't have XAMPP server in your system installed, then I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to install it. So I have this guide written for you here in the GitHub repository. You can come here and go to this link. And if you open this link, you can find the setup file for the XAMPP server. And you can download the latest version of XAMPP for the Windows. If you are on Windows or if you are using Linux or Mac OS, then you can download the appropriate version from here. So if you are using Windows and download the setup from here, and install it it's fairly easy I, I think you're not going to have any problem down uh, downloading and installing it so once the installation is finished you are going to get the exam folder in your system here so here if you go to your C drive you will get this exam folder and if you open it you are going to have this ST docs folder okay so inside this ST docs folder we are going to create create the new folder and there we will extract our uh, source code from this zip file so let me go ahead and create new folder and i'm gonna name it as my tv because i already have the tv app here so you can go ahead and create tv app folder or my tv it's your choice so inside this my tv i'm going to extract all these files so i'm going to select it and drag and drop from the zip file to this file okay and now inside this zip file we have this tv app demo dot xql file okay so now we need to set up this file this database file so to set up that database file we need to go to the uh, php my admin and before that we need to start the server so I, I almost forgot to start the server so to start the server come back to this exam folder and inside this you will have this exam control.exe file okay so you can make the you can uh, pin this to the start okay i have pinned the, this file to the start so that i can access it from here like this if you want you can do that but right now we'll just double double click it and here you will get this control panel and start the apache and mysql server okay once this both apache and mysql are in green that means the server ha server has started successfully so we can come back here in the browser and if we try to access the localhost, you should see this page, okay? If you don't see this page for some reason, then you need to check if your servers are running correctly or not. If not, you'll get some error here and you can search that error in Google and fix it, okay? Otherwise, let me know in the comment below and I will try to help you, okay? So now we have successfully installed this localhost. Now we'll go to phpMyAdmin, okay? And here we can create our database. So to create our database, you can go here and click on new and create my TV database, my TV. Okay. I, 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 you can just name it as my TV and click and create. Once the database is created, now we need to import the database file that I have given. Okay. So click on import, click on choose file and go back to the file where we have extracted our SQL file. So go to stdocs, go to my TV, and here you can see we have this tbappdemo.sql file. So double click on it and click on go here. Okay, now it's going to import all the data and the uh, tables and rows that we have in our MySQL database. Okay, and if you go here, click on this my TV you should see these categories, channels, and users, okay? So by default, we have this user. Now let's go back to our source code once more and uh, go to stdocs, go to my TV, 
and here you should see this db.php file okay and if i open this file we have this mysql mysqli connect uh, command here and here i am using root as a username and root as a password okay but if you are installing the xm for the first time it is likely that you have blank password okay so you have to remove this and do not add any space here okay just leave it as blank and save it because by default the xm comes with the root as a username and the blank as a password for mysql admin okay so if you haven't uh, changed it by yourself manually then you need to leave as a blank here but in my php my admin i have changed the password from blank to root so that's why i'm adding the root here okay so i hope you got what i'm trying to say here so if you give wrong password here you, you will not be able to use this uh, tv app dashboard okay so now we have set up our mysql admin and this the database and everything we can access our php script so i'm going to open the url localhost slash my tb and when i do that it's going to uh, give me this login screen and if you type the username is by default the username is admin at mail.com okay and password is admin and it should uh, let you inside the dashboard and now if you want to change the username and password you can do so from this change username so you can just add old username and new username and click on save and it's going to change your username and similarly you can change the password from here okay and if you want to generate the new api key you can do so as well okay guys so this is how we set up this php script and i hope you are able to follow along with me if not if you get any error let me know in the comment box below and i will try to help you as soon as possible or you can message me on the facebook i will link the facebook group in the comment uh, description as well so you can check out from there and i will also leave this repository link in the video description as well so that you can download it from the github so now i'll see you in the next video from where we will start creating our android application start developing our app okay so bye bye have a nice day